This is Chef LaWanda. You're in Chef LaWanda's studio. All right, now I came back to fix you a really quick dish. Uh, the last dish I prepared was the uh, garni gisada with the pork pickle tagaya tacato. Anyway, it was really, really good. And I thought, why not fix a small amount of uh, guacamole? So I have just one good ripe guacamole. I mean, avocado right now. So what I'm going to do is just prepare this for you guys so you can get a little, you know, taste of that on your trying to get cider. I'm going to take this uh, nice ripe put this over here you guys can see what I'm doing here. Avocado, I've cut it in half. Sometimes those things come in here and sometimes they don't. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and dice this up while it's still in the hole. Like I said, it's a really, really, really simple, quick recipe that you can use, especially when you're just by yourself. So, you know, I'll just take this and just squeeze it out. I've already diced it up, so I'm just going to squeeze it out of the shell, out of the hull. As you can see, that's all. Don't need that. Let's do the other side. A little difficulty getting that seed out of there. We don't want to use that part right there. So, I'm just going to like go to the edges and make a little parallel slices and little vertical slices all across the avocado while it's still inside of the avocado hub. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just squeeze it off into this small bowl. like so, okay? Now I'm gonna also be using, um, in this dish, I'm gonna also use garlic. So it's just a small amount, so I don't need a whole clove because we don't want the garlic to overpower. Let's just cut half of this and use it into our dish. Okay, that's more or less half of a garlic clove. I have onion here. I have a, the other half of the onion. I didn't, on my other recipe that I use for my uh, carnegie side, I only used a half of a large onion, just in case someone didn't get that. But right now, let's just go ahead and uh, cut some onion up for the guacamole. You can see I'm cutting these into real small slices here. Once again, we don't want these to overpower the avocado because we want to eat the avocado. So we're cutting these into small little pieces here. And this is, I'm going to use about a tablespoon, not even a tablespoon, maybe a teaspoon 
and a bit of this onion. And once again, it depends on how you like it. I'm just showing you some basic methods of how I like to cook things my way. So I'm going to use just maybe about this much onion, which I'm going to say is about a tablespoonful. Guys, remember when you're using a cutting board of such, a lot of places have color-coded co uh, cutting boards, and that's to keep down cross-contamination bacteria. But if not, you can just always, like I always have a little water over here, bleach water, and you can just always just go in and wipe your cutting board down to avoid any bacteria. Bleach water is fine. They have some sanitizing solution. You can use it's fine but make sure that you keep your cutting board nice and clean now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do some tomatoes off in here I just gonna dice up some tomatoes I got a half a tomato I had used on a salad the other day and I had this left over so I'm just gonna go ahead and dice up tomatoes these these dices are almost identical to the size of the guacamole or the avocado I just uh, cut so let's just go ahead and cut this up in here. Remember, this is just me, just one serving, just one person. I don't need a whole lot for this recipe. So that's about two tablespoons of diced tomatoes also. So what I'm going to do is going to blend this up right now. Mix this up here. A couple of tomatoes not chopped up. I also use in my uh, guacamole mix or avocado salad or whatever you want to call this. I always use this uh, McCormick's guacamole mix. It really enhances the flavor. Even though sometimes you have just about everything that this would have in it. But this would always enhance the flavor. You can always find a commercial item that would all enhance the flavor of whatever you're, you're fixing. Like if I do chili, homemade chili, I'll open up a can of uh, wolf chili or Hermos chili and add it to that. And all it does is enhance the flavor of chili. I was looking for cilantro and I forgot I already brought it over here. Once again, I'm going to use cilantro also. Uh, this is the HEB brand uh, freeze dried cilantro, which works just well, really, really good in dishes. So, this is I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon in here. And I have a lemon that I used for my fish the other night. Half of a lemon. I'm not going to use it all, I'm just going to cut off a fourth of it. For juice. I love fresh vegetables, fresh juices. Uh, make sure you don't get any seeds in here, but let's just go ahead and uh, squeeze this juice, lemon juice, fresh lemon juice in here. This packet was full. I had used it prior, so it has like less than half a pack of the contents left. So let's just go ahead and use the rest of it. Like I said, it was just something I thought about after I finished fixing the uh, meat dish that you guys, I hope, uh, watched to its complete. And uh, so let me just make some avocado. Uh, guacamole dish. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of this into here. Like I said, it was it was less than half a pack. So, okay, so here we go. I'm going to stir this, combine it, blend it.
this is could be just like a side salad or like I said you can if you mix uh, make flour tortillas or any kind of tortillas you can put it or add it into your taco so you can still see the um, the avocados they're perfectly right I could smash them more if I wanted to, but I want to leave them just like this. And the flavor, let's see what we got going on with the flavor. Oh my God. It, it's perfect. I don't need to add anything else, not even salt. <clears throat> A lot of times when I make this dish, I fix it with more than one avocado, but I sprinkle a little bit of salt on it, but this is too perfect. I don't know what's going on tonight, but my flavors are on point. I had a chef, I was an apprentice up under one of the executive chefs uh, where I work one day and he came to me and he says, Lawanda, you have the perfect tongue palate. Your tongue palate is so perfect. Well, being an apprentice and young and young into my um, trying to become a chef, I had no idea what he was talking about, my tongue palate. But as I start cooking over the years, I understood that there's a taste, your mouth has these taste buds in your mouth. And some people, they're not all the same, they really are not. And if you are, are, are favored enough to have really good tongue palates, you can come out with some really good dishes. And sometimes you just want it the way your tongue wanted to taste, then that's okay also. I prepare, I finished with this, and all I need to do is put this between some tortillas, trying to get slider, or just a side dish on a meal that I'm eating, and I've got me a nice uh, avocado guacamole salad. So until the next time, I hope you enjoyed this small video, and uh, I'll be seeing you later on. Have a good night.